Are you ready to embark on a musical journey? In this video, we will take you on a tour of eight different musical instruments, each with its own unique sound and personality. Piano The piano is a descendant of the clavichord, an instrument that was first developed in the 14th century. The clavichord was a keyboard instrument that used small metal blades, called tangents, to strike the strings and produce sound. In the late 1700s, Bartolomeo Cristofori, an Italian harpsichord maker, began experimenting with ways to make the clavichord louder and more expressive. He eventually developed a new type of keyboard instrument that used hammers to strike the strings, instead of tangents. This instrument, called the Piano Forte, Italian for soft loud, was the first true piano. Christopher's piano had a much wider range of dynamic expression than the clavichord, and it quickly became popular among musicians and composers. The piano has continued to evolve over the centuries, and today it is one of the most versatile and widely used instruments in the world. Guitar The guitar is a descendant of several ancient string instruments, such as the lute and the kathara. The modern guitar as we know it, however, was first developed in Spain during the 15th century. The Spanish word, guitarra, was derived from the Greek word, kathara, which referred to a type of lyre. The Spanish guitar was a four-stringed instrument that was played by plucking the strings with the fingers. Over time, the guitar was modified and evolved to the six-stringed instrument we know today. Drums Drums have been used for thousands of years by cultures all over the world for ceremonial, spiritual, and musical purposes. The origins of the drum can be traced back to ancient civilizations where drums were made from natural materials such as hollowed-out logs, animal hides and pottery. The modern drum as we know it, however, evolved from early percussion instruments such as the tambourine and the snare drum. Violin The violin is a descendant of the lira da braccio, a bowed string instrument that was popular in Europe during the 14th and 15th centuries. The lira da braccio was shaped like a pear and had a flat back, unlike the curved back of the modern violin. The modern violin as we know it was developed in the 16th century in northern Italy, specifically in the city of Cremona. Trumpet The trumpet was created by ancient civilizations, such as the Egyptians and the Greeks, as a military instrument and for ceremonial purposes. These early trumpets were made of metal and had a straight tube design. Over time, the trumpet evolved and was made in different shapes and sizes, with the modern trumpet having a flared bell and three valves for pitch control. Saxophone The saxophone was created by Adolf Sax in the mid-19th century. Adolf Sachs was a Belgian musician and instrument maker who sought to create a new type of instrument that would bridge the gap between woodwinds and brass. He developed the saxophone by modifying the design of existing wind instruments and experimenting with different materials. It was patented in 1846, and it quickly became popular in military bands, orchestras, and jazz ensembles. The saxophone's unique tone and versatility made it an important instrument in many musical genres, and it continues to be widely used today. Flute 
The flute is an ancient instrument that has been used by many cultures throughout history. The earliest known flutes were made from materials such as bone, wood and bamboo, and were likely used for ritual and ceremonial purposes. Over time, the design of the flute evolved, with the addition of a hole for the thumb and finger holes for different notes. The modern flute is a transverse flute, meaning that the player blows across a hole in the side of the instrument. Harmonica The harmonica, also known as the mouth organ, was invented by Christian Friedrich Ludwig Buschmann in 1821. Buschmann, a German instrument maker, was experimenting with ways to create a small, portable instrument that could produce a variety of notes. He created the harmonica by attaching a series of metal reeds to a small rectangular box, with a hole on each end for the player to blow and draw air through. Bushman's design was further developed and improved over time, and by the mid-19th century, the harmonica had become a popular instrument in Europe and America. The harmonica is still widely used today, particularly in genres such as folk, blues, and country music. Well folks, we've reached the end of our musical journey, and we hope to have kept you in tune. Thanks for watching.